Okay class, today we're going to talk about derivatives and their many engaging, fun, and amazing uses. But first up, let me write it on the board, D-E-R-I, you know, whatever. But now we need to learn the chain rule, which can be extremely difficult. Blah, blah, blah. La 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 Math is so annoying. Who said that? Man, don't be like that. Math is beautiful. But I always fall asleep in class. I don't know any of this stuff anyway. I say we break free. Let's learn math the freaking Brandon way. Dab, dab, whip, whip, nay, nay, that part. Hold on, man. You want to know about the chain rule? Because I know about the chain rule. Let me drop a sick beat. Where is this music coming from? So you're sick and tired of sitting in school. Life is easy when you know the chain rule. Trust me, this one is a smooth ride. You just gotta drive starting from the outside. After that, drive the inside too. Multiply together and everything is cool. I know you might be thinking to yourself, oh lord, just check out this example I got on the board. It's 2 times 3 of x. The derivative of the inside is 3. So you get the derivative of f of x. Just multiply these two together. So that's your answer. Hey, that actually makes sense! Derivatives are integral to your success. Derivatives are integral to your success. Calculus doesn't have to cause any stress because derivatives are integral to your success. Hey, how come I wasn't invited to this party? Yo, man, this student is struggling. I think he needs your help. Okay, inverse derivatives are tricky sometimes, so sit back, relax, and listen to my dope rhymes. I'll show you why there's no real reason to fear them with a little something called the inverse function theorem. If f is the inverse of h right here, derive both sides, it all becomes clear. Don't forget to use the good old chain rule, then algebra it out, and you've got a new tool. This is actually pretty helpful. You should probably memorize it. Oh, so you want to see it in action? Well, you don't need tickets for this main attraction. So if you're trying to get the derivative of the function that is inverse to f of x, first you get the derivative of f of x. And then you just plug it into the function that we just derived, which is plus 7, which is 1 over 10. Yay! Inverse trig derivatives drive you insane. Memorize them and they won't be a pain. Yo, derivatives are integral to your success. Derivatives are integral to your success. Calculus doesn't have to cause any stress because derivatives are integral to your success. I really understand it now. Thanks, guys. No problem. Why don't I try teaching a lesson? Go for it. I think I got implicit differentiation with multiple variables in the equation. I've done enough listening to you. Now look at the board and see what I can do. Just take the derivative of each side. dy dx remains unsimplified. Rewrite it so dy dx is together, then factor it out and it all gets better. Now all that's left to do is solve while wow, my brain is so evolved. Derive, rearrange, then factor it out. That's what it is all about. 
Derivatives are integral to your success. Derivatives are integral to your success. Calculus doesn't have to cause any stress because derivatives are integral to your success. Tej, what were you just doing? Uh, definitely not sleeping. As I was saying, I received an email from the majority of the class asking me to teach logarithmic and exponential derivatives. And I thought about it, and I'm going to teach it in... RAP FORM! WHY? THAT'S RIGHT! Exponents, exponents, logarithmic components. It may be hard, but there's no need to be an opponent. Natural log is what we call E. The log of that is called Lin, you see. The laws of log, we gotta have a dialogue. Look at the board, there's a whole list, dog. Keep these boys in your mental archive. They're really helpful when you derive. Now that you've got the log rules down, go ahead and wear your calculus crown. Remember all old friends Lin and E? Derivatives with these are pretty easy. Starting with the function e to the x, the derivative isn't really that complex. If you compare the derivative with the function, you'll notice that the two of them are in conjunction. That just means the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Simple, right? Lin of x is the next function man. Don't be afraid, we got a plan. The derivative is always 1 over x. Just remember the chain rule and you're bound for success. I know you students are getting a little cocky. Let's see if you can really walk the walkie. But well, what about a function with a constant? This one seems a little more daunting. Take that, suckas. There is really only one more step. Just multiply lin constant and that constant to the x. Derivatives are integral to your success. Derivatives are integral to your success. Calculus doesn't have to cause any stress because derivatives are integral to your success. Derivatives are integral to your success. Derivatives are integral to your success. Calculus doesn't have to cause any stress because derivatives are integral to your success.